I like to put them in a Ziploc with, and keep them in the refrigerator and just kind of graze on them for the next couple of days. They seem to get better and better. Mm -hmm. We do this at our house a lot. We'll make shrimp salads and uh, just we enjoy and we cook probably 10 pounds at a time and, and it feeds my family uh, probably good two meals. Well, just, we talked about it a while ago. There's so many ways to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, and you got something that's going to last two or three days if kept cool properly. Uh, you can do all those things. You have all those options. Mm -hmm. well, we find out at my house when we cook them, they don't last long enough to get it, get into that second and third day. <laughs> I bet. Okay. But that's a pretty platter of shrimp. That is a beautiful platter of shrimp. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna leave on that platter very long, you need, you need to bed them in some ice or something just to keep them cool. Mm -hmm. But these are, you can see they're steaming just a little bit, but we're real close to being good and chilled, and, and that's the way I like them, Patty. I like them good and cold myself. Some people cook them with head on now. Mm -hmm. We hadn't talked about that. Mm -hmm. but, uh, and there's some argument there that the head-on shrimp provides more seasoning. We haven't talked about that. But it's, it's to taste, whatever you like. Sure. Personally, this is the way I like them. Me too, Dickie. You ready to try some? I'm ready. Okay. Okay, well, our cooks have done a great job showing us how to cook shrimp. Basically, if you know how to boil water, you can cook shrimp. Just don't overcook them. And after all this work, we're going to go ahead and sample what we've got here. And uh, let me just show you real quickly how... How I peel a shrimp, some folks may not know how to do this, I take the first shell off, like so, and I squeeze the base right here, and sometimes it'll come on off, but you might have to do a little bit more peeling. And then you squeeze that base like that, and the rest of it will come off, and then I like to dip it in the sauce, and enjoy. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, Greg, for inviting us. Appreciate you having us. Hope everybody enjoys these rooms. Hello, we're here today with uh, Neil Ravina. He is a current chef at Miss Melissa's in Moundville. Before he was a chef there, he was the former director of the Culinary Arts Program at Shelton State Community College. And Mr. Neal is going to show us a pretty exquisite way of producing, of, of cooking these shrimp. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Neal. Thank you very much. Let's talk about this dish that we're going to do today. We're going to use these great Alabama farm-raised shrimp. Um, what I've done is I've skewered them, and then I've put them on a grill for just a little bit of a minute just to get some taste on them. They're not fully cooked. They're partially cooked. The reason I put them on the grill, as you may know or may not know, these shrimp don't have a lot of taste. We have to add flavor to these shrimp. And as a chef, there's many different ways to add flavor to things. One is using fat, another one is using citrus, another one is using maybe some vinegars and some spices. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start with um, melting some butter. But before we get into that, let me show you the ingredients that are going in this dish. This dish is a roasted red pepper and rosemary shrimp and keeping with the theme of Alabama like we do at the restaurant we're serving it on Alabama goat cheese grits so let's start the process of cooking the shrimp we're using unsalted butter like I said before these shrimp need a lot of flavoring added to them but because they're a, a very very good product you don't want to mess up the flavor by adding salt that has iodine in it so I prefer to use sea salt or kosher salt. You want to be very careful not to scorch your butter, not to have the butter burn, not to have it brown, because the shrimp are only going to be in the butter just for about a minute or so. The first thing we'll do with this butter is add our flavorings to it. We're going to make a flavor combination that is going to go into the shrimp as if they were little sponges. Dish is called roasted red pepper and rosemary. That's what the shrimps should taste like. So I've taken these red peppers and grilled them. You can see these nice grill marks on them. And they're all, it releases all of these oils. We're going to put that into here. All of those oils are going to mix with our butter and start a little flavor fest here in the pan. And you'll be able to see that that butter will start to turn orange. That's from the roasted red pepper. Let's take our fresh rosemary, which is plentiful year-round, and we also want to cut or break our rosemary because that releases the oils and the flavoring. 
and we want that to get infused in our butter. And again, be careful not to let your butter burn. Now if this burns, don't try and save it. You're going to want to throw it out and start all over again. Now that if you look at this butter that's in here, it's a nice orange color and it has all that nice flavoring in it. We'll take our shrimp off the skewer, add it to our butter. We'll add a little bit of fresh ground pepper and kosher salt and we'll just toss this shrimp in it. Now you see how the butter adheres itself to the shrimp. That's exactly what we're looking for because those shrimp are porous and they're going to absorb all of those flavors from the butter that we just did. Now, I don't know any restaurant that doesn't serve a little bit of lemon with shrimp. We certainly do down at our restaurant in Moundville. So we're going to take a little lemon and squeeze some fresh lemon juice into this. And as you can see, the lemon juice begins to evaporate and it, it makes the flavors concentrated. So now you're going to have lemon, you're going to have rosemary, you're going to have roasted red pepper. We'll turn our heat off and bring our goat cheese grits out here. Now I know shrimp and grits is a staple in the, in the south and you can just dump this right over it, but I prefer to take the shrimp and stick them right in the sides like this. And if you think this is hot, it is. It's not a trick from the television. I've just been doing this long enough. Now it's very easy to overcook these. You want to be very careful not to cook your shrimp too much. As you know, they'll start to get a little bit tough. Now we'll take our butter, lemon juice, and red pepper and rosemary mix and go right over the top of this, just like that. We'll put a little color around the side, a nice piece of rosemary here, and a nice lemon, lemon wedge. And there you have saltwater aquifer, raised shrimp, Alabama goat cheese grits. It's a beautiful presentation. It can be done as an appetizer. It can be done as an entree. Uh, it's a beautiful holiday. Um, presentation with all of this. I mean, this actually could be a small pine tree. Um, and then your lemons and your red peppers. And uh, this is a dish that we serve at the restaurant and use locally grown shrimp for that. It still amazes me we can grow shrimp in the wrong part of the world. Uh, there, uh, but ultimately, what I really enjoy is in the fall. I don't sell my shrimp to uh, brokers or dealers or processors. I sell my shrimp to the public, and we have so much fun. People come, and we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people come by our shrimp in the fall, and uh, they enjoy it. I enjoy talking with them. Uh, they enjoy bringing the kids down here and, and visiting the farm and all that. And we just we just have a big time selling these shrimp, and and that's probably more. I get more out of that than any of it. I enjoy growing them. It's a challenge, you know. This, you're not supposed to be growing shrimp here. This is the wrong place. Uh, but I, it just it amazes me, it amazes the folks that we can do it, and, uh, and we grow a great product, a quality product, an excellent tasting product, and we're proud of it, the public's proud of it, and we all have a big time.